and girls, welcome back. How are you? Are you okay? Can we have a thumbs up with some zing energy to get creative? Good. Well, we are going to do an activity inspired by this book. Can you remember? It's called How to Catch a Star. It's a lovely story about a boy and his star. It's written by Oliver Jeffers and the star becomes his friend. Well, today I would like to make a special star which I call a wishing star. So what we're going to do is make these stars and a picture in the middle of the star will be your wish. And you're going to take your wish, your wishing star, and put it in the night sky. So I have here an idea for you to make your own night sky. We have a basin of water and watercolor paint. And what I'm going to do is just take some watercolor paint an experiment by putting, do you see, we're going to put the watercolour into the basin of water and it'll expand, it'll be an experiment. So you can make the night sky any colour you like. So this is going to be a lot of fun and I, I think um, you won't necessarily have done that sort of experiment before so enjoy it. Now we're going to look at how to make our star. So come, come a little closer and come and have a look at what it is we need. So you'll need a piece of Fabriano paper, like this one, okay? You'll need two circular objects, two round objects. A big object like this, this is my sellotape, and a smaller circle that fits inside, because you're going to need to draw around these two. You're going to need a rubber, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. Good. So, this is what we need to start with. We open up our folded paper and we can make four different stars in, on one sheet of paper. I'm going to take the larger circle and I'm going to draw around it, okay, like that. Then I'm going to take a smaller circle and draw around it so that I end up with this sort of a picture. Okay, can you see? So once you've got your big circle and small circle, you'll cut it out and then I'm going to teach you a little trick that helps you to create the star points. You draw a straight line down, that's a vertical line down, and a straight line across, that's a horizontal line across, just to help you base yourself on the center of the small circle. It'll help you create your star triangular points. Do you see how we do that? So you use all these lines, you can make them crooked, doesn't matter, doesn't, nothing has to be perfect. There's no wrong or right way to do this, just have fun with it. So you're going to end up with this sort of thing, which will then look like this, okay? So you've got your circles, your star points, and you're then going to cut it out. So here we have need for scissors, and this is a star that I've already started cutting out, and you're just going to snip between the star points like that, okay? So one, two, and then what you're going to do is decorate. But you'll need to rub out all the lines so that your star looks nice and empty like this star, okay? And this is the point when you can draw your wish Make it as colourful as you like. I used coloured pencils, but you can also use felt pens. I ask you don't use paint because you want your paper to stay dry. So here are my stars. I have my first wishing star. It's for good luck. Do you see I made a four-leaf clover, which is an object that brings good luck to us. Then my other wishing star is this one here. What did I draw? That's right, I drew an aeroplane because I wish that very soon I'll be able to travel in an aeroplane so I can go and visit my family that lives far away. So I've got these two wishes. I need to fold the points down like that. So you do the same, fold all the points and then now's the time to float your special wishing star in your funny blue or black or whatever color you've made sky. So with any luck, these stars will now have a reaction to the water. So it's a little bit scientific. And if you are lucky, 
you'll see a transformation in your stars. I hope you have fun with this. It's a little scientific and it's a little magic. So, enjoy, stay creative. I'd love to see your wishing stars if you'd like. Send them to my email and also if you need any instructions, I'm happy to share templates with you. So bye for now. Thanks for joining.